Welcome back. This will be the first video of many, which I will be adding to my third YouTube channel for many reasons. One is I need a back backup channel. Uh, the other reason is this is something I've just wanted to do for many reasons. I want to help people and the law of rec reciprocity. Search that term, reciprocity, and you will understand. That's another key to wealth, riches, and happiness. Now, this video is titled, The Secret, right? That everyone wants to know. And why do I know it? Well, I read a lot of books. For many years, actually. And I'm going to start off with a story. Here we go. There was, a, there was a small boy, he came out of a grocery store, and an old man pulled up in a red Lamborghini. And the little boy asked the old man, Sir, sir, how did you get that car? How, how, how can you afford it? I want, the, I want a car just like that. Can you tell me the secret to getting rich? And the old man said, Sure, meet me tomorrow at dawn. And I will show you the secret to all of my wealth and happiness. So the next day, the little boy went to the beach, and the old man was already there waiting for him. And the old man said, All right, start walking into the ocean. And the little boy looked at him like, Why? And the old man said, Do you want to know? And he said, Yes. So he started walking into the ocean. Once the water reached the boy's chest height, the old man came up and grabbed him and started drowning him. And he kept his head underwater until the last few seconds before the little boy started drowning. And then he pulled him up out of the water. And the little boy said, why did you do that? Why did you start drowning me? Help, help. And the old man said, at that moment in time, what, what did you want most in the world? And the little boy said, I just wanted air. And the old man said, that is the secret. So what, what does that mean? Well, what it means is you have to want it. And most people think they want wealth and riches and nice things and some people don't just want money wealth and riches they they just want happiness at the at the end of the day it's it all it's all the same you have to want it you have to want it more than anything now let's dive a little deeper You have to want it every day, every minute, and every second. And why do you want it so much all the time? Because you want to rewire your brain. You see, the cells in your brain, the, the synapses, they're firing electrical signals. And when you read books, when you do certain things, when you play sports, there's muscle memory and you rewire the cells within your brain. You create more channels. For example, if you know more words, your vocabulary is larger, you could actually think, think better. You're smarter. You have more um, imagination. The more words you know, the more words you could put together and think up new things. That's why there's a saying, some people say they're smart and geniuses, and then the smartest person will ask them, well, how many books have you read? And that's how they know. So, you need to rewire your brain. You need to 
unwire everything you've learned growing up because you've been conditioned to work for someone else your entire life and your upbringing and society you're conditioned to go with the masses to go with the sheep the herd for self-survival and uh in-group preferences so you survive that's it's human nature think of uh zebras think of all of the animals which travel in herds that's so prey so predators have to they could only pick one or two and they pick off the weakest but in numbers they survive so you have to think separately you have to rewire your brain now the way you rewire your brain is all day every day you think of what you want and then you think of ways to get it of course morally and ethically and that could go for creating a business that could go that, that works for sports that works for anything you want in life but you have to constantly want it and you have to want it more than anything else in the world and in order for that to happen you have to make sacrifices and you have to make choices and you have to set small goals that lead to larger goals and in a way if you constantly think of reaching a goal your brain will figure out a way to get it for you in the span of time now they say we don't we do not use most of our capacity our brain we we only use a small percentage of the amount of um, infinite you could say it's infinite of intelligence our brain actually can muster right well when you essentially rewire your brain you are essentially brainwashing yourself but you do it in a way that benefits you so your brain if you think of something day in and day out all day your brain will constantly work towards solving that problem and getting you what you want and that is how you create a mindset of a very very productive person but you have to do it for a very long time they say 30 days creates a habit well if you want something for 30 days think about it all day and what happens is you will set goals small goals at first then larger goals and larger goals you will cut out people and things and tasks and anything in your life that is negative and will not help you reach your goals in life also you will make sacrifices you always have to make sacrifices just know that so essentially that is the secret you have to rewire your brain to want and to do everything it takes to get what you want it's that simple there is no real secret or magic or or anything else of course there's hard work but if you rewire your brain and have that mindset whatever you end up wanting to achieve you will achieve it eventually and you will do it in ways that will not well at first they might seem hard and you might think you can't do it but once you've rewired your brain you will figure out a way to do it you will learn new skills you will learn new things and you will eventually get what you want you but first you have to have the right mindset and the right mindset is done through repetition and the first thing you could do is to brainwash yourself and tell yourself I want this more than anything every minute of every day and then you start thinking like that well every minute of every day you'll start thinking of how to get it of how to get what you want literally you're just rewiring your brain uh, try you could try an experiment right now tell yourself every day you're the best for 30 days and see what happens I promise you 
you will feel better, you'll have more confidence, and things will just start working out better for you in life. Just tell yourself you're the best. Just literally, go around every day, <laughs> all day, telling yourself, I'm the best, I'm the best. And before you know you feel good. You actually think, you start believing you are the best. And then when you believe you're the best, you have confidence, and then you start actually uh, physically, mentally doing things like you are the best, and then you start doing things in a better way. If you don't believe me, try it. And you will see how that works. It's that simple. The powerful, the brain is one of the most powerful things in the world. It actually is. It's actually one of the most unknown organs in the world that scientists and doctors can't figure out. Where consciousness comes from. Where uh, just the power of intellect comes from. And th there's more brain cells in your brain than stars in the sky let that sink in well start using them and start using them in your advantage this is a trick you're hacking your own mind so start today and start thinking about what you want in life and think about it every minute every day every second and then you're gonna start working towards it and then it it's becomes a life of its own. You're going to start reading books that you need to read. You're going to start learning things that you need to learn. There's never a good time to start. Never a good time to start. Just start right now. You can first start for a week. Just tell yourself you're the best and see how you feel. Also, this mind hack, it will make you the best at something in this world. And that, that elevates your market value, your self-worth, your contribution to humanity. You will produce a service or a product that you enjoy personally, so it won't be work, and you want to be the best at it. So when you do this mind hack, tell yourself every day as long as it takes, and it will come to fruition with time. If you found this informative, please like my videos, share them, and leave in the comment section if this helped you. Also, leave in the comment section a topic you would like me to cover. And my next topic will be self-awareness and controlling your own mind. Because if you don't control your mind, your mind will control you.